Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima, and... Uh... I am very disappointed with Rain Man Legends. There. Opinion. Done. If you, if you don't want to see any more, leave. I'm very disappointed with this game, because... God, I'd never played Rayman Origins before, and it was something I just bought out of the blue, like, a couple of months after I had my Vita, because I was looking for something else to play, and... God, it was absolutely fantastic! I, I... I never finished it because I just didn't have the time to at the time, but... I mean, it was a fantastic game, and I, I, I loved it. I loved pretty much every second of it. It was such a good platforming experience, I could not believe how good it was, and... This game's just gone and taken... Only a step forward with like its presentation and gameplay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a problem with just the presentation taking a step forward if the gameplay was okay, but... Unfortunately, the gameplay has gone and suffered. But anyway, I'll just have a look around at the other systems before I start. You've got your customizable skins. The more um, lums you collect in the levels, which are collectibles, I'll show them off later. You've got your, um, your daily challenges. I have not been able to get these working, so don't even ask. Uh, Murphy's challenges, I'm not even going to bother because those are just stupid. Kung Foot, which is a multiplayer mode. You can only play multiplayer in this game in lean or ad hoc. Bit of a shame there, really. You know, could have taken it one step further by allowing people to do P2P um, multiplayer. At least it would have worked. Got original origins levels, you unlock through scratch cards, we'll show them off when I get the opportunity, and creatures, which are also something you get through scratch cards. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up and just go and hop into a level. I'm just gonna pick a random level from Teensies in Trouble. You get these five levels, they get unlocked the more um, Teensies you get. There's like ten in each level, you know, some have less, some have more. Um, yeah, I'm gonna play, yeah, this one, Quicksand. Because this shows off exactly what was good about Rayman Origins. A level like this in the middle of Rayman Legends is a little bit disappointing because it shows how good Rayman Origins was. Yeah, this, this actually reminds me a lot of the old um, the Didgeridoo level. Um, as you can see on the left there, sim um, similar art. The whole game has received like a very minor upgrade to both the... Um, the Sound and the graphics. The sound, the sound and the graphics sound absolutely amazing. And they did back in Origins as well. And... Yeah, it, it just... It's, it's a... Overall, one step up from an amazing presentation. Alright, so let's go and actually play this level. You get these funny little cutscenes. I will admit, I do like this game's humour. So anyway, the idea is you got to go and find all the... All the teensies and the lums. Those things I just picked up are lums. And that, that I just lost a skeleton coin there, which gives you heaps of lums. And you also got the ability to wall jump. The game seems to have either removed or locked out some of the previous abilities in Origins. But basically, the whole idea of this level is that it's basically a... It's basically just precision platforming made amazing. That's, that's basically what Rayman Legends is. And if we go through um, this door, I can show off one of the separate challenges. I've already unlocked this little teensy guy here, but this, this is actually a, um, a part of a challenge to get a hidden one. Yeah, but yeah, these these little levels here are basically just hidden all throughout the game, and you have to go and find them in the levels. They're usually not that hard to find, but it, it's nice to have all these little secrets that are scattered throughout a level that you can go find. As you can see, I just pulled that one off there. They all have their own little unique twists on the level you're playing at the, at the time, and... The level design in this game is great on the Rayman levels, where you're actually platforming. The Glowbox levels, however, are pieces of ass, and I'll show them off when I get the opportunity. But yeah, as you can see, if I want to get this guy, I have to be really quick and precise about it. Yeah, if I want to survive this bit, I really need to be quick and precise about it. That's the thing about Rayman Origins that made it so good. The controls and the platforming were spectacular. I mean, the levels were designed in such a way that the only way you could fail is if you is if you stuffed up. That's the only way you could possibly fail. Oh shit. But yeah, the only way you could fail is if you failed, if not, if the controls failed. You have full control over Rain Man at any one time. He is, 
is only floaty in the smallest possible situations. I just completely skipped that one there, but as you can see, you'd have to go through all this perfectly to get all those collectibles, so you know, perfect play is rewarded. Oh crap. Ah, damn, I died. But yeah, as you can see, precision platforming in this game is what makes it so good. That's my that's my opinion. You can't do you can't disagree with it. You know, there are opinions that are right and there are opinions that there are opinions that are cannot be disagreed with, and then there are opinions that are just downright wrong. So let's just if we have a look, it just he, he moves so smoothly around the landscape, and it looks so good too. As a precision platform, it looks amazing. It's I mean, like, I don't mind the sort of retro indie platformers like Super Meat Boy, but Jesus Christ, this just takes presentation to a whole other level. While keeping the gameplay stupidly satisfying, I just, I, I love this game because of the fact that it exists. Rayman, well, not this game, I loved Origins because it existed. This game, I'm a little bit off of it. But yeah, there's the precision platforming. I haven't liked a game this much for a pure platforming. Since, since God, I can't even think of a game that I liked before Rayman Origins as much as I did Rayman Origins because Rayman Origins was just so good at the precision platforming that I just absolutely loved it. Yeah, that was the end of the level. I just skipped the cutscene so you didn't get that many spoilers. And at the end of every level, you get um. Yeah, you basically get these lum totals. Um, yeah, the more lums you collect, the more things you can get. You may have noticed that there was something missing between the silver and the gold. Like, there was a big gap. Well, halfway in between silver and gold, there's what's called a scratch card. I'll, I have a few saved up, so I'll show you them right now. Or lucky tickets, as they call it. So, yeah, I've got the opportunity to scratch me, baby. Alright, so I've unlocked a creature. I'll go and show off the creatures in a minute. Before I show off my real main problem in this game. Let's go through another lucky treat and see if I can get anything. Nope, it's just another treat. I'm, yeah, I am scratching these off with my with my finger. Probably getting blood on my screen because I got a cut on my hand earlier. God. And as you can see here, back to Origins levels. This game does contain s several different remastered levels from Rayman Origins, but I would still recommend picking up Rayman Origins. Also, we've got another, um, we've got a teensy here. Yeah, that's pretty much all the rewards you can get. You can also get lums. So, basically, uh, I'll just leave now, because um, I'm pretty much done here until I need to do a, a Murray level. I'll come back here. Oh, actually, I'll go and show off the heroes. Heroes basically are just glorified user skins. Like, as you can see here, I've got 27,400 lums and I need 28,000 to unlock the next skin. And it goes all the way up to 1 million. And you can pick whoever you like. I've got, um, the Glowbox colored Rayman, because he I rolled with him all the way through Rayman, Rayman Origins and I would feel bad not using him as soon as possible in Rayman Legends. Again, challenges never got to work, not even going to try. Murphy's challenge is not even going to bother. And I'll show off um, back to Origins. So yeah, as you can see, you can only unlock these levels through those, um, those lucky tickets. So you have to be playing the levels really good if you want to unlock these. I'll just go play a... I'll play one of the really early Origins levels. So anybody who's played Origins will know how much of a graphical upgrade. Like, these levels have been upgraded. They really have. Like, there's a mosquito level right there, but let's go and do this one, because this one's a really early level in Rayman Origins. And you will recognize it if you have played Origins. So yeah, this is basically a carbon clone of, like, one of the really early Rayman Origins levels. It's, um, I do like the fact that they decided to... Christ. I do like the fact that they remastered these levels, because, um, they actually changed them around just a little bit, like where the teensies are planted and everything, because you can find a lot more teensies in one level this time around. And I really do enjoy it, because it, it makes going through these levels fun again, because they're... 
they, they look so much better. Yes, I know I missed that guy on purpose. It just, it makes these levels look so much better because they look so much brighter and more colorful. And it's a shame that they didn't, they didn't do like the whole Green Man um, Origins game. Like, um, Chronicles of Riddick. Like, the second Chronicles of Riddick game completely remastered the first one and actually included it on, on the disc. It, it's a shame that they didn't do it for the entire game here in Origins. Here in Legends, I should say. Because that would have been awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and the more teens you free, the more levels you unlock. I'm sure you picked this all up just by watching the video, but if you if you don't, I'm sorry. I, I just thought it'd be rather obvious because this game is um this game is pretty old school. Yeah. Anyway, what was what, what was I saying? Yeah, it's a shame they didn't re HD remaster the whole game because they pretty much did. That's the weird thing. The thing about Origins was that it was basically the same five level sets repeated twice. So you could, they could have gone away with remastering all the levels, and that brings up another one of my issues. But I'm going to bring that up later. Don't worry. I know, I know exactly. If you have been following any sort of discussion about this game lately, you know exactly what topic I'm talking about. I will be mentioning it ever so soon. But yeah, as you can see, the game looks absolutely um. Rayman Origins levels look absolutely stunning, and I love it. And you finish in exactly the same way. Loading screen's back. You can still use them in practice. Sometimes you get health pickups on them. Okay, I, I ain't got a problem with that. My main problem with this game, what breaks it for me, is the strangest combination of things I've ever seen. Like, I'm just gonna go back to the beginning set of levels, because this is, um, this is a massive problem in my opinion. I don't think many people are gonna touch on this, but this is a, this is the one thing that, um, basically ruined Rayman Legends for me. I'll, I'll see if there's one in here, Toad Story. Okay, yes, this will do. Actually, no, I don't think that's actually a level. Um, oh, yeah, I'll go back to the first. I'll go back to the first one. So, um, to Teens is in trouble. Because I know there's one around here somewhere. Yeah, this will do. At least I'm pretty sure this is the one I'm thinking of. Oh, yep, here we go. Alright, so, on certain levels, which is actually a really high amount of them, you come into control of Murphy, who is completely useless. You have to basically get all the obstacles out of his way. You have to dig shit up for him to find. He won't stop and do it himself. And you can't, like, physically guide him to do anything. So you are basically reliant on his artificial intelligence getting you through the level. And sometimes it just doesn't work because, I mean, watch this. Oh wait, no. Okay, apparently he can do that. What the hell? So basically, watch this. See, if I hadn't shown that, like if I... What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart that sequence. Watch this. So, let's just say you get this like milliseconds too late. See, you can see it down there. You're like, come on, you stupid bastard. No, but he's not going to go for it. You're going to have to be stupid precise in this game in order to get anything done on these levels. And the most annoying part is that the game doesn't even have multi-touch. And there is one level where this becomes a major, major problem. And I will try and show that one off. So you can even get yourself killed underneath dropping... Crates on, on, on yourself. It's just cages on yourself. Stupid! It's stupid! Why would you make. As we said earlier, the one thing I loved about Rayman Origins was the fact that the entire game was one giant precision platformer with amazing controls. This here 
has some of the shittest controls for a touchscreen game I've played. You can't order Murphy to stop. Excuse me. You can't order Murphy to stop. You can't order him to do anything. He is just gonna do whatever the damn hell he pleases. And I just lost a lump there. Actually, I might have an opportunity to show something off here. No. Missed, missed my opportunity, I think. Um. Don't even know why it, it didn't pan the camera down there until that one point. See, he won't even. Oh yeah, I forgot I had to cut that. All right, so yeah, but yeah, here's here's what I'm talking about. So let's just get him to go up in here into this little room where you have to rescue one of these teensies. Oh no, sorry, this is the wrong level. I, I, I know there's one where I can just basically show this off, but I mean. Hold on, I'll go I'll go to the one level that I know is a absolute pain in the ass. Um, it's actually back here. So we've got dungeon yeah, dungeon dash. This is the one I'm talking about. This took me like 10 tries to get through because this level is so stupidly frustrating. So let's see if I can actually show how frustrating the touchscreen mechanic is. Yeah! So, right, so basically this is a touchscreen level from the very beginning. There are way too many of these by the way. So let's just pull this down here and here goes Murphy. Now you have to constantly be not only pulling shit out into his way, you have to constantly be drawing over the lums. So that he can basically grab them all. And you have to do this all with one finger. So you may be wondering why am I having... And then you have to do this, which is super frustrating. So basically you have to do this all with one finger. And it's really easy to fuck this up. And the bad thing is, there, there, is a, there are parts of this level later on. Watch this. See, it's really... Right, how did I do that? See, but look, see... I drag that up to pull, pull it back down and, yeah, and watch this. Yeah, see, you have to be really precise. And doing that with two fingers while consistently focusing on the rest of the screen so you can get all the ones marked so that you get double value for them is stupidly difficult. Yeah, I don't know how I did that. And it, it just hurts your finger after a while. I mean, holy shit. Because the, the touch level just gets so frustrating after a, a really long set of playthroughs because you have to be constantly marking shit as you're going and you constantly have to be dragging shit out of the way and that one little thing you forget is the one thing that's going to kill you. Let me see if I can find the other level. The other level, which I had so much trouble with. If I had to make a guess, it's in here. My guess is correct. It's just, it's, 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 for being a touch, for a precision platformer where accuracy is key, this is annoying as shit. Like, why do these levels have to exist? Oh, and by the way, you do have to do this. See, and even if he makes a stupid jump like that, he won't get all the lums for it. And sometimes it happens completely out of your own accord. So look, I have to be tapping all this shit, and now I've got to do all this, and then I've got to make sure he gets all the way through. See, and he just fell off there. He has no sense, and then he has no sense of, like, stopping. Yes, that firewall will kill you after a few seconds. You can be stopped for a few seconds, but it still will kill you. So you have to be focusing on all this shit. You see, I was wiping over that with my finger, and I still somehow didn't mark the fucking thing. So, yep, see, I moved it too early, and that's true. It's, it, it's frustrating as shit.
See, I've wiped my finger all over them and nothing. Here comes the most annoying thing. You have to be constantly tapping, swiping, and then a full search shit like that comes along. And it sends you all the way back here. And as I said, the multi touch doesn't work. I'm doing this all with one finger. You can't do this with more than one finger. What, do they not put in multi touch because the Wii U doesn't have it? Christ. Just because the Wii U doesn't have something doesn't mean you have to take it out from the which can actually pull off multi touch. No. So yeah, as you can see, this is this is just annoying as shit because his AI is inconsistent and his and his ability to do anything like relatively intelligent is just completely missing. So if you don't time everything perfectly, and I mean not only perfectly, but to the point where your finger will start hurting after about 15 minutes of this shit, you are screwed. And I was having so much fun! I wasn't having so much fun because this was like one of the very first levels. But the precision platform the levels are so good, I don't understand why they had to felt the need to add this shit on top. And wait until you hear what I've got to say next, for those of you who don't, for those of you who do know. No, don't. Don't chop that one. Chop that one. Don't chop that one. Cut that. Do that and cut this. Slide across there. Oh yeah, this one's annoying as hell. Yeah, you see that? You are basically going to be hammering your finger at random in that final part. Because that is insane. And you know what the worst thing is? This shit gets worse. This gets worse. This gets harder. This gets more finger spammy. This is oh my god, it's so fucking annoying. And I don't see the need for it to be in the game. In a game about precision platforming, where controlling Rayman to the best of your possible ability, this game is annoying as fucking balls. And I wish it wasn't in the game. You know what I'm going to go do now? I'm going to go check out the movie challenges, because I'm a moron! Because I only just unlocked them. Right. Yeah, just wait, wait for this. This, this is ridiculous. So those really badly made, unfitting, just don't fit with the theme of the game at all, touch levels, got expanded into these five new challenges, right? These five exclusive levels to the PlayStation Vita here. You want to know what the shit part is about these five exclusive levels to the Vita? They took out levels in every other version of the game. There are basically remixes of all the other levels called in- I don't remember exactly what they're called, but they're called invasion levels or something like that. Where they are basically just remixes that are um, of the normal levels that are A on a clock and B have heaps of extra enemies and obstacles. They cut all 28 of these levels which is one level for every... Yeah, watch this by the way, I'll do this. I can, I can get this done. You gotta grab, you gotta tap and drag this, but only when you're close to it. So, this is basically finger limbo and it hurts. After about half an hour trying one of these levels, I got a cramp in my hand. It's ridiculously difficult. But, yeah. They took out all 28 levels, which is basically one version for every single... They took out one invasion level for every main level in the game for this garbage. For this five levels of garbage... That is completely unnecessary to have in the game. Just to give the Vita... They, they took out 28 of what would have been the best levels in the game for this nonsense. And you know what? There are actually parts in this game where you control the accelerometer to like rotate the room. It's a puzzle, okay? It's like, I, I don't mind rotational puzzles. Sometimes I have to hurt my hands getting the Vita in the right position. But the thing is, the accelerometer in this game and this game alone is really 
fucking sensitive. First, well, it, it's really inconsistent and sensitive. Like, for some reason, I thought my accelerometer, like the first couple of times I played the puzzles in this game, I thought my accelerometer was broken. It was in that it was that bad. Just they there are these little bits where you have to rotate and God, they, it, it felt so bad that I was honestly really surprised at how bad, how broken it felt. It was like, yeah, it, I, I thought my accelerometer was broken, and then I, I tried it again, and it seemed to work. And that's that, that's how bad my first impression was. I thought my accelerometer was broken; they were that badly made. I I, I can't do it. The fact that they took out what was arguably the best point of the game, and by the way, they didn't tell anybody. They didn't tell anybody. They said to everyone, Rayman Legends on the Vita will have all the content that all the other versions have, plus five exclusive levels. And they took out 28 <laughs> levels. And there's proof too. Up in the corner there, 615 teensies, there's 700 in the console versions. In the Vita version, in the Vita version alone, 615. And I'm just, I'm, I'm honestly depressed. They made a really fucking bad decision halfway through making this game. Where they wanted to add touchscreen levels which basically made you feel like you're fucking useless. They wanted, they wanted to make levels which took away from the good bits. The two good things about this platformer are its amazing presentation and its amazing precision platformer gameplay. And both of them are taken away by... Uh, well, one of them's taken away by the fact that there's touch levels, and... God, I can't recommend this game on its art style alone. I'm sorry, the, the reason Rayman Origins was so fucking good was because it was so... It had one consistent... Well, it didn't have exactly have one consistent gap theme of precision platform, but it didn't go as far as to say, Oh, here, have these touch screen levels. There are actually bits where you flew around on a mosquito, and there were boss fights. There are boss fights in this game. The boss fight I thought was actually really cool, but only because I was able to precision platform my way through it, not because I was forced to use the fucking touchscreen. I really did like the boss fights. I really, I liked everything about Origins because whenever it's straight from the platforming, it was so different from the platforming that it was a nice change of pace. When it comes to the touchscreen challenges and the touch screen levels in this game, they just feel tacked on and not worth any sort of effort to get through. And that's the same way I feel about this game, really. The addition of those touch screen levels it just made me decide that I don't want to play this anymore because I can't fucking stand having to precision platform on a touch screen. That's an oxymoron right there, that is. And by the way, we might as well go through the creatures. Basically... You get these through the, um, the scratch things. And you come back to them like once every 24 hours or something and they give you new lums and as you can see there you can probably get a skeleton coin. And the idea is that basically you just farm them. Until you get to a million lums. I can't imagine getting to a million lums by the time you're finished, but... You kind of have to if you want the platinum. But, yeah, would I recommend Rayman Legends? No. Would I recommend Rayman Origins? Fuck yes! Rayman Origins is my favourite 2D platformer since Super Mario... Christ, I can't even remember the last 2D Super Mario game I actually liked as much as I did Rayman Origins. I, I mean, wow. How did they screw it up with one little gameplay change and one omission? I'm just, it, it just makes me depressed. It really does. It's, they had such a good game going and then they had to go and fuck it up. And this depresses me. I got Italia Maruru Plus today. And, I'm, and after a while I started enjoying it more than I did this. And you have no idea how depressed that makes me because Rain Man Origins is probably my favorite 2D platformer. And I was hoping this would beat it. I guess it didn't. This has been Blue Maxima. I'll see you all next time.